As soon as we yell cut, it's gonna be f***ery. Can I say f***ery? Anyway. I like that word, f***ery. I never knew that was a word. I always talk about like, you know, relationships always redefine themselves. So you see the same couple in, you know, in a different space, season two, but, you know, y'all have never seen them like this. You know, to have them be adults, have both feet in, committed to something, and really, um, you know, just being there for each other, whether it's, you know, a date out, eating some edibles, <laughs> you know, trying new things in the bedroom. Like, to see them in that different light, I thought was, you know, fun. I think I'm a good bike rider, to the point that I rode it in heels in the next episode. Um, cause, uh -huh, uh -huh, she did that. But, but yeah, I did. It was so much fun. When I'm leaving the boutique and I, and I say I'm gonna go to the, the Botox doctor, I have an appointment, and she says, oh please, mom, you could bounce a quarter off your forehead. And I say, if only you had a quarter to bounce. <laughs> I have a lot that make me laugh. The meaner they are, the funnier they are to me, you know. But yeah, if only you had a quarter to bounce. I'm staying in New York. I know what I want, but am I flirting with disaster? Drama return. Look at me, so clean, no effort. I found someone that I feel great about. How many orgasms does she give you? I lost count after eight. Do not get to it yourself. I took like 12 alphas home. For real? Yeah. Dang. No, but I paid for some of them though. Oh, I worked, I worked with this. Yeah, she let me. You know, she gave me a, a, a nice little discount. So, uh, I had to. He had a nice little wardrobe. I had to take some of them. Oh, it must pay to be cute. Cause <laughs> I can't work out that deal every day. Can I have this? Can I have this? Can I have this? Can I have? This? Can, I, have this? can I? I can't have nothing. But I might have taken the Gucci outfit, but two piece, Ooh. just to say it was the last day, and I was like, this is the only thing you're gonna get, Jerry. You might as well just take this. And then I feel guilty sometimes, so I'm like, don't take the stuff, but I did. The, the only thing, thing I take is <laughs> underwear. I feel like you can't give it to nobody yeah. else, so it's mine now. Um, but I did get one dress that we did not wear. Well, that's she true. let me have it because it wasn't on camera. I took a lot of bikinis from that one episode when we went on the girls' trip, and like a rap and maybe some other things I'm not gonna talk about. Mm. <laughs> I just booked a co-star role that Christmas. Yeah. Hi, I loved you and Moesha. Excuse me? Sorry, confession time. I've never seen Moesha. My husband said it was hashtag canceled because it gives a woman too many ideas and I get that. <laughs> I would say Black Joy is rediscovering your inner child and um, what we used to love and appreciate as kids, we kind of lose sight of that as we grow up. And I think for me as an adult now, I'm trying to rediscover that freedom and that happiness and just like what you're passionate about outside of work and outside of like all of the adult commitments. Black joy to me is resilience. It's the ability to find joy, happiness, and love in a foreign land. It's the rose that grows in concrete. Black joy to me is being able to be my authentic self, unapologetically, loudly, boldly, loving myself without any apologies and shedding enough light that other people get permission to, to love themselves the same. Yeah, I would piggyback off of that. I mean, black joy to me is just about, you know, being authentic and, and accepting yourself for what you are, who you are. I feel like in life we go through lots of obstacles and myself, you know, I can be a hard, uh, a hard critic on myself. You know, to be myself in its fullness and accepting it for what it is, I feel like is, uh, you know, has brought me the most joy as a, as a black man. I think black joy is um, choosing liberation against all odds, which black joy in America is just a radical act. Mm -hmm. To be joyous with all the images that we get of black people dying, uh, mass incarceration. We're living in a state where black people just have not gotten reparations, you know what I mean? And so I think when we do choose joy, it is an act of resilience against all the things that we've experienced in America. Boss, you need a boss chick? Look at this shit. I'm the one that says trashy Todd. The waitress during our date at the table. They can't just keep printing lies like this. Lies, right? <laughs> oh Look at the plot twist. When we got this uh, final reveal of the last episode, we literally were like, which one of us is it? Yes. Tracy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. The writers are very tight lit. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. I can say that I do not want it to be Ty. I want it to be Ty. I want it to be Ty. I do not want it to be It cannot be That's Ty. That's a consensus. I want it to be Ty. This is too much, much for me. <laughs> Ty has been through enough. Been a baby. Been it too 
too many hospitals. <laughs> now I want to go through a pregnancy. That's too much now.